Well, should the killing of an unborn baby be murder? Debate on that issue today at the state capitol once again. Strong opinions on both sides. 7 News reporter Russell Haythorn tracking this developing story. And Russell, this is the so-called fetal homicide bill. Yeah, Eric, the controversial fetal homicide bill would allow prosecutors to pursue murder charges against someone who attacks a pregnant woman and kills the unborn child. This measure coming about after that gruesome attack in Longmont last month, Michelle Wilkins, who was seven months pregnant, uh, had the fetus cut from her womb by her attacker. The fetus did die. The alleged attacker, Danell Lane, is facing several charges, but not for murder because the unborn child did not technically live outside the womb. Pro-choicers argue this law would open the door to personhood and lead to charging a woman for murder for having an abortion. But the bill has an exemption for what a woman chooses to do with her body with the assistance of a medically licensed professional. Uh, I'm opposed to it because although the proponents state that there is language um, to exclude legal medical procedures, um, those exceptions are vague enough that um, both myself as a practicing physician and my patients uh, are threatened by this bill. Senate Bill 268 is simple. Senate Bill 268 is just. It allows the prosecution of people who harm or kill an unborn child against the wishes of the mother. This bill does not seek to overturn Roe versus Wade. 38 states currently have fetal homicide laws on the books. Colorado has something similar, but it doesn't go as far as fetal homicide. This bill is being discussed right now as we speak in a committee hearing. We'll continue to follow developments. For now, we're live on Capitol Hill. Russell Haythorn, 7 News.